Good morning. It is Friday, the 22nd. Oh, I just got up. So, let's start this day. My goodness. With our daily devotional. I hope you guys can hear me. So, listen with your heart. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. John 10 27. Anyone who belongs to God listens gladly to the words of God. John 8, 47. Oh, it's 3.36 in the morning. He said to me, Son of man, receive into your heart all my word that I speak to you and hear with your ears. Ezekiel 3.10 Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Revelations 3.22 Faith comes from hearing, that is, hearing the good news about Christ. Romans 10.17 do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. James 1.22 For merely listening to the law doesn't make us right with God. It is obeying the law that makes us right in his sight. Romans 2.13 Serve only the Lord your God and fear him alone. Obey his commandments, listen to his voice, and cling to him. Deuteronomy 13.4 There is a big difference between hearing and receiving information and to really listen and use the information. Jesus is God's anthem of love to us but sometimes we struggle to hear it because of certain filters like our own opinions um, preconceived ideas egos our own will because of this we sometimes don't he hear God's word a woman with a closed Bible is a woman who does not listen to God. Listen with your heart and really hear what God wants to tell you. Oh, wow. That's a good one. I know I say that every time I think, but it's like they just, they speak to me. Christ in you. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Colossians 1.27 Oh, those are wake up jokes. Many people who sincerely love God sometimes feel that he is far away in a place they cannot reach, but he is actually in us, with us all the time. He desires an intimate, close relationship with you. James writes that if we draw near to God, he will draw near to us, James 4, 8. Jesus did not die so that Jesus did not die so we could be religious, but so we, but so that we might have a personal 
comfortable relationship with God? Do you desire to be closer to God? Does your soul long and thirst for God? As the psalmist writes in Psalms 20, 42, 1 and 2, if so, then begin telling him how much you desperately require his presence in your life. Realize that he is with you all the time and interested in everything about you and all that you do. Invite him to share your life or, as I like to say, do life with God. Closeness with God requires spending time with him, not merely once a day for a set period of time, but through out each day in addition to setting time apart for Bible study and special prayer. God is never more than one thought away from you. So think of him often and talk to him verbally and silent or silently throughout your day. God loves you very much and he desires to be <clears throat> the center of your life. When you put him first, everything else will work much better. Father, I long to be closer to you and experience a loving friendship with you. Grant me the presence at all times. In Jesus' name, amen. Whew. That was deep. So... You guys have a very blessed day. I hope each and every one of you has a great day. I love you. Take care. Be kind to one another. And be blessed. Bye now.